Hi there, and welcome to part four in this five-part series of tutorials geared around making deep house, tech house, deep tech type sounds in Native Instruments Massive. In this tutorial, we're going to be making a tech pad type sound. Here's the sound we're going to be making. We'll have a look at the MIDI. It's quite a simple basic MIDI pattern we've got going on there, but just plenty of movement within the sound to keep it interesting. So I'm going to go and uh, initialize this preset, set up oscillator one here. It's going to be a rough math two, one, two, and uh, we're going to take the pitch down by one octave, but just nudge it a couple of cents there. Uh, keep the wavetable position all the way to the right, intensity on full and amp on full, and I'm going to route it to halfway here, both filter one and filter two. Turn on oscillator two, and this is going to come down minus nine semitones and going to do a similar thing just nudge the sensor a little bit but in the other direction this time uh, wavetable position stays there intensity on full amp on full and yeah it's going to be rough mouth two again routed to both filter one and filter two oscillator three turn this on i'm going to take this up plus seven semitones but do a similar thing again just knock it down a couple of cents um this just helps thicken the sound up really, just doing these these extra couple of nudges here on the sense. Uh, the wave table position are going to bring down a little bit, around about there, intensity just above halfway. I'm going to make it a formant and I'm going to make it a vulgar wave. So let's have a listen to the sound, what we've got now. Okay, so quite a nice thick sound already. Go ahead and program some of the uh, filters here. So for filter one, we're going to make it a DAF filter. Um, keep the cutoff round about there. Pull the resonance down and keep the the volume. Maybe just knock it down a little bit. And for filter two, we're going to make it a bandpass filter. And keep the cutoff around there. Pull the band bandwidth down a little bit and push the resonance up. The volume of the filter is going to go up a little bit here. And this mix slide is quite important now because what we want is a blend of the two different filters really. So which is quite nice. It's going to start modulating these cutoff frequencies here to enhance us enhance the sound a little bit further. So for LFO one, we're going to make it a sine wave and Move the position around about here so we've got that sort of ramp going on. And this is going to modulate the cutoff frequency of filter one. So we can drag this modulator over here and just turn the modulation up a little bit. And you know, start playing around with this rate, really. Maybe turn the amp of the LFO down a little bit. Okay, and now move on to the second LFO, and I'm going to drag this to the cutoff frequency of filter two, the bandpass filter, and going to drag the modulation in the other direction this time. So it's going to be moving the cutoff frequency in a different direction, and we're going to set the the LFO LFO two. We're going to set up a little bit like this. Let's pull the rate down a little bit and take the amp down a little bit. Turn the rate up of LFO one actually. And basically by applying different LFO rates to these the cutoff frequencies of these two filters, we're getting quite a sort of uh, a modulated sound and it's uh, there's a lot of movement in that sound just holding one note. Which is quite nice for pad type sounds, which is why Massive is really good for creating quite sort of modulated paddy sounds and stuff. So next up, we're going to uh, start modulating the intensity of oscillator three, which is the four months. So it's going to start moving the four month shift up and down a little bit. So we're going to use this uh, LFO to do this. So drag this into the intensity and. So we can see what kind of effect that's going to have on the sound. And 
Let me go to the voicing tab here now and just make the sound a little bit richer. Give it three voices. Um, give it a nice bit of width as well, just to spread some of those voices out a little bit. Just making the sound much warmer. Turn this pitch cut off on and just going to go can pull this down a little bit and I'm going to turn it onto chord as well. which spreads the voices out over a wider sort of keyboard range, basically, which is quite nice for this sort of sound. Okay, next up, I'm going to uh, set up an effect on insert one here, the sample and hold effect, which is a really nice little effect. If you take the pitch right up here, just has a really nice, it's quite subtle, but really if you have it high pitched, it's a really nice, it's a really nice gritty sort of top end to the sound. Let's see if we turn it off. Right, let's put a little bit of reverb in the sound now. So, turn the dry wet down a little bit. Just size up all the density down a little bit. In FX2, I'm going to add a phaser and maybe just take the dry wet mix down a little bit, the rate down a little bit, the depth down a touch. Just, just adding a little bit more movement to the sound, really. Add a little bit of EQ, maybe a bit of high, high frequency. It's going to bring out this sample and hold a little bit of this. last things to do is um, I'm going to set this envelope so I'm going to just back the tack off the envelope a little bit and maybe just pull the level of the whole thing down somewhat so we've got a bit more of a slower attack to the sound now maybe give it a bit more release There we go, that's our deep kind of techy sound, so we'll give it a spin now. And we can just move this slider here to just make the sound more kind of like interesting, give it a bit more movement. Okay, so that's it. Deep Techie kind of pad sound in Native Instruments Massive. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Any questions about it, give us a shout and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.